Hey guys, so I promised last week I was going to do a quick video on how I buy operating systems on the cheap. Um, so this is how I do it. So just to let you know, I haven't paid more than about £15 for an operating system in the past six or seven years. Uh, and I haven't cracked any software, I haven't cheated any software houses, um, I've simply just searched about and found decent deals out there. Now the one thing you will have to do is you'll have to be comfortable using OEM software, um, which if you're a home builder probably isn't an issue for you, it certainly isn't for me. It basically just means that Microsoft will give you a limited level of support rather than if you bought the full kit and caboodle for them. So with that out of the way, it's up to you if you're gonna do what I do, but I'll show you what I do. So just to give you a quick kind of idea of how much Windows 10 costs at the moment, I just went to Google and I typed in Windows 10 product key and sorted it by price. And then I went down to the first kind of shop that I would normally think about using, which is eBuyer. So Windows 10 Pro currently is £151.98 for one license. That is absolutely obscene, if you ask me. And the Microsoft Store is even worse, it's £170. I mean, that is money you could put towards a CPU or a GPU or an SSD or anything other than Windows, basically. Why the hell people are paying this much for Windows, I do not know. Um, so guys, I'm going to show you what I do. Now, there are lots of websites out there. You don't have to use the website that I use. Um, I use it simply because I've been using it for a number of years. I've never had a problem with a purchase. I've never had a key that's been bad. Um, and they're just very, very reasonable, i found. So this is what I use, guys. I use Kingwin. Um, I'll put a link in the video description description below. Um, so I just basically typed in Windows up here. I know it says Sony, but I typed in Windows. Um, and this is what's come up. So this is Windows 10 Professional. Exactly the same as what's on the other screen here. Um, here. So the same as this. Yeah. £23. Or sorry, £24 almost. Um, and again, here the home version is 21 Don't know why you go for home. I, I would always pick Pro. I always have been a pro user. I just like the extra functionality it gives you. So there you go, guys. That's a difference of £150 if you buy it from the Windows Store, Microsoft, and £130 if you buy it from eBuyer. I mean, that is mental. £130 is like an SSD. £130 is a really good power supply. And like I say, these guys are totally legitimate. They are uh, essentially a software Amazon, if you'd like. They provide a service for lots of vendors to sell stuff through them, um, you know, and I've never had a problem. So I'll show you how much I paid for my last copy of Windows 10. Uh, I think you get into it this way. Just waiting for it to, to do its thing. And if I go to accounts, it should. Here we go, guys. Yes, yeah, so order. So. Windows 10, professional OEM key, uh, if we go along here, let's just have a look, it takes a little bit, um, yeah, so here we go, Windows 10, Windows 10 professional OEM key, it cost me £14.33, that's it, that's the version of Windows I'm running on this machine here, okay, totally legitimate, not a problem, um, the other thing, the big benefit, about this site for me is they offer this they offer buyer protection right here and what that basically means is that if for some reason you get sent a key that doesn't work or is defunct or is a duplicate Kingwin will refund your money or they will offer you another key depending on your preference depending on what you want and that's absolutely awesome not only is it dirt cheap legitimate very fast <laughs> they're also going to offer you insurance for, I mean, next to nothing. I mean, I've never had to use the insurance, but I've always added it on to my um, purchase, just in case. You know, that's it. It's kind of like if you buy something from Scan, and you can add that Scan Sure into your basket, um, and, you know, in case you're stupid enough to fry something when it arrives, like a graphics card or something, you know. And a lot of people do that for that extra £5 to know that if they get something 
and it's bricked or they think they've bricked it they can send it back and they'll get a replacement no problem um, so yeah I'm quite happy to give these guys 75 pence if I know I'm gonna get a completely working copy of Windows and if I don't I can email them and they'll either give me my money back or they will let me get another CD key so that's it guys it's as simple as that that's how I buy software no fuss um, it's not difficult um, it saves you a lot of money at the end of the day so it's totally up to you guys um, I can't make that decision for you I think you'd be stupid not to do this to be honest I mean, you'd save yourself a hell of a lot of money um, and a lot, I, I've been doing it for years and a lot of my friends have been doing it for a long time now uh, and I just think save yourself that money save yourself that hundred pounds and buy something else that will make your life better like a power supply or put it towards a graphics card or a monitor, a peripheral, anything you want really just don't spend it on Windows <laughs> don't give Microsoft all that money they don't need it for a start okay so guys that's it I'm gonna get on out of here I hope you liked the video if you like it like it if you dislike it dislike it don't forget to leave a comment I love to hear comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great tech content I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.